Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about 3D Warehouse. So, real quick, the 3D Warehouse is an online repository that you have access to where you can download from millions of user and building product manufacturer models. Uh, this can be everything from simple entourage, a, a plant or a bowl of fruit, to entire buildings or even cities. Uh, the files on 3D Warehouse, you can download directly into your model. Uh, and we're going to talk about in this video how to interact with it through SketchUp. We'll talk about some other videos that are out there that we've created at the end of the video. But right now, we just want to talk about square one fashion, how you use the buttons that show up in your user interface. Let's hop in. Okay, so the most prominent one, of course, is right here. We have this 3D Warehouse button. This is on the main UI. This shows up when you install SketchUp. And uh, what it's going to do is it's going to basically open up 3D Warehouse. You can get to this very similar uh, screen that we'll see right here by type going into any browser and typing 3dwarehouse.sketchup.com. And that's just going to bring up the front page of 3D Warehouse. So like I said, this is exactly the same thing that I'd see if I brought it up in a browser. Um, general layout here, I have some, some uh, curated collections at the top, some recent uh, featured files, some of our manufacturer catalogs, and then uh, some featured uh, collections of, of models there. Uh, I can get to any of these by just clicking on the tiles, or most likely what's going to happen is you're here looking for something specific, so you'll type in a search term here. So I'm just going to type in couch. And what that will do is bring you up the list. Here's the list of content. Uh, a couple things I want to point out here. Uh, on the left side, I have search tools. So I can search in specific categories. I can search by size or polygons. I can drop advanced. I can use things like author, date, or uh, different attributes about models, that sort of thing. Uh, because the list that shows up here, especially if I'm using a term as broad as the name of a piece of furniture can be literally thousands. So here over here, I have a more than a thousand items found. Uh, there are tabs here across the top. So I have products, models, collections, and catalogs. Products are files that are uploaded by our product manufacturers. So these are products that the manufacturers themselves create and create models of. Models are community models. These are made by users of 3D Warehouse that have been created in SketchUp and uploaded. Collections are basically groups or lists of models curated by our, our, uh, the members of 3D Warehouse as well. Catalogs are very similar in that they're collections of models. They're collections of products. So these are usually created and uploaded again by building product manufacturers, showing their specific products and the collections that they uh, curate themselves. In this case, I'm just going to go to models. And like I said, if I wanted to, to fine tune this, I could commit up and say, you know, three cushion couch or black couch or whatever additional terms I want to try to cut this down. In this example, I'm just going to grab one of these. I'm going to click on this. And when I click on any of the items, it gives me this quick look where I can see a better picture, slightly bigger picture of the, the item. I have some options here to like, star, uh, put in a folder collection, and then it tells me a little bit of information about it. If I'm good here, I can hit download to download it right now. If I want to see more information, I can click see more details, and it'll bring up the full page, giving you all the information about this model. Like I said, I don't want to necessarily go into everything here. We'll have some videos that you can that will dive into exactly what's on the page. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and hit download. I'll get the option at this point to download it directly into the model I'm working on by clicking OK. If I click No, it'll still download the file, but allow me to save it. So it'll save it to wherever my downloads go rather than opening it up in your model. And then, of course, cancel will just say, never mind, I want out. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and bring it in. And all right, there it is. So I now have this in my model. It just dropped it right in there. If I pick on it and I look at my entity info here, I can see that this is imported as a component. Also, if I have my components window open, which we've, we've looked at in a square one video before, I can see right here I have couch number one. So this file is saved into my model as a component the second I download it, which means even if I delete it from my screen, I still have couch number one saved as a component in my model. At this point, once it comes in 
to SketchUp, it's just like anything else that you create inside of SketchUp. So I can double click to come in here. I can click on the individual pieces. I double click into individual pieces and edit those. I could come all the way out here and explode to break this just down to basic geometry if I wanted to. This is just SketchUp prop materials. This is just faces, edges, groups and components, materials, just like you would see in something you built from scratch. There's nothing mystical or magical about it once it gets uh, downloaded from 3D Warehouse. The other thing I can do with 3D Warehouse directly from SketchUp is upload to it. So if I go to File, I have a 3D Warehouse option here where I can actually share this model. So mine's unsaved right now, but if I save it, I can actually upload this to my account. Now you do have to be logged in to 3D Warehouse to download or upload files. And if you're not, it will of course prompt you and ask you to log in with your Trimble ID. And that will get you access to the full 3D Warehouse and let you upload or download files directly from inside SketchUp. So like I said, we actually have made a couple different videos about using 3D Warehouse. Uh, so we have one about what you should do when you download a model, how to go through. There's, there's, some, there's some great models out there, but there's also some models that'll really slow down your job you're working on. So we have a video that shows you know, some tips on that. We also have a couple comprehensive just walkthroughs of 3D Warehouse. What does every single screen look like and what, what, how exactly does all the filters work? Uh, we'll link to those videos down in the description so you can dive deeper if you need to. Otherwise, that's a high level look, a square one style look at 3D Warehouse and how it works inside of SketchUp. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, of course, please leave us a comment. Do you use 3D Warehouse? Do you upload a 3D Warehouse? Is there something else you think we should spotlight on Square One? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.